birds really like it here. With all the water and the fish. Oh, so you even got the nautical looking lights. Yeah. It's nice that this was preserved. I know a lot of other stuff like the Salton Bay Yacht Club oh, and yeah. all that got torn down. The old motel, I mean, well there was the North Shore Motel and then there was the, the um, Sundowner. Yeah. I never got to see that one, but I guess that got torched. I had lunch in there back in the early 80s, mm. mid 80s, with Helen Burns, who was like, they called her the old woman of the sea. Uh. She started everything on that side of the lake. Uh, I think the Salton Bay one though was a little too torn up to. Yeah, to, I never to got to see. I didn't either, but yeah. I just saw pictures of it. It looks like that one had gotten flooded out too. Yeah. The, the yeah, I think just about everything on that side got flooded because it was closer to the water, not up so high. Yeah. But I've heard, read accounts that the flood water here got up to the top layer of the patio, mm. which means it didn't get in the building, but still that was pretty high. Yeah. Yeah. Gradually, there'll be a lot more positive when people see it for themselves instead of just listening to what. Yeah. Well, I can't believe it's that Life After People episode where they said that the decaying algae creates uh, gas more toxic than cyanide, and I don't know where they. Yeah, they called they got me that. and wanted they wanted to know where to shoot around here when they were doing that. They said, well, we don't really want to shoot the Yacht Club because we only want to show decaying and nasty stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Which can be interesting, but it, it, they they yeah, but, stretched a lot of things to uh, yeah. just to make the show more interesting yeah. as opposed to... We have a um, Yahoo group sorry, for the Salton Sea people. Oh, I'm on that. Oh, San Diego State University, everything does studies year after year, month after month, and say that that is all totally gone within you know, a mile of where it comes into to yeah. the lake. And that happens all the time at the Pacific Ocean. In San Diego, there's sewage spills. Oh, all, yeah, all the time. Yeah. Probably a lot more than there are out here. Oh, yes. Yeah, so these are the original palm trees. Yes. Right That can be a gas fire pit or um, actually wood? we have um, pipe if we want to put gas in, but we got permission to have wood burning fire pit. Yeah, yeah that's so even nicer. That would be nice. Architect did a great job, and I did a great job saying, "Oh, we need to do this and we need to do that." And that's still the original flagpole too, isn't it? Yes. It's been cleaned up. Yeah, we it? resurfaced it and put, the, I don't know what they put on it to protect it, but, um, and then put all new pulleys and new rope on it. Mm -hmm. 
So you were saying earlier it sounds pretty promising that the playground equipment, the original playground equipment, well, well or replicas. Well, I'm of hoping because I've provided them with enough information to, and. And of course, back to its original colors here. Mm -hmm. It looks like at some point in time it was painted blue and. Oh yeah. Went. The architect and I went to Albert Frey's house in Palm Springs. Because he used the same colors in his house and uh. some of his other buildings. Um, and he had actually, not Formica, but some kind of built-in thing that was the blue color up there. And he had the drapes that were the same yellow so we could match identically the colors yeah. that he used. Yeah. So that was good. Well, now our problem is water level dropping. Not yeah. Because they want to reclaim water, they want to fallow fields, which decreases the amount of agricultural water. Well, there's less runoff now, too, right? Because the uh, growers are, are more well, precisely. They're, yeah, they're applying more efficient the water. in their watering. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of things that decrease the water going into the lake. Yeah.